Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're looking at the ECM Dome Effect Extended model for today's second video. This is your 42 day slash six week talk there for the UK and for Ireland. And I should get on with it for you in a moment. Just say that first, the video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Got a weekend forecast. And there's going to be a 10 to 14 there with all of regular features of the way today as well. So please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much for doing that. Uh, the girls were this stage one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Love it. Thank you. So to ECM.INT for supplying the charts of the data as well, by the way. Oh, and by the way, this update is going to get us to the eve of Christmas Eve. Do -do -do! With virtually up to the holidays with this uh, particular update. Wow, wow, wow. Virtually up to Christmas. Uh, more about that later on. Let's start off with week one mean sea level pressure anomaly, though, taking us through next week, which will be the 11th to the 18th of November. High pressure going to be dominating through the North Atlantic into Northern Europe. Winds coming in from that easterly or northeasterly direction. The 500 millibar heights looking like this big area of above average heights extending through the north atlantic into northern europe below average heights down here and uh, winds will be coming in from a bit of an easterly source if that's correct so that means that uh, the coldest anomalies to average are actually more for the south and most parts of uh, west europe also suddenly going cooler than average on those east north east winds as well um, now, England, Wales, and Ireland having slightly below average temperature normals for next week. Scotland, possibly Northern Ireland, nearer normal, or maybe a little bit above average. And all areas are looking uh, pretty dry through next week. But close to the East Coast, it looks a little bit more uh, unsettled there as the easterly wind feeds in some showers and uh, whatnot. <laughs> right, let's have a look at week. Two, which will be the 18th, 25th of November. Oh, this is quite interesting. A mid Atlantic ridge now is going up <laughs> to Greenland and Iceland. Um, I'm so sorry, everyone. Below average heights to our north and east, and winds will be coming in, therefore, from a northerly direction. Do -do -do! Right, well, let's have a look at the 500 millibar heights. Why don't we do that? Oh, wow, look at this. Trough of below average heights through much of northern Europe, a ridge of the Atlantic going up towards Greenland and down, therefore, is coming that northerly to northeasterly flow. Oh, look at that. Cold, <laughs> cold and average temperature anomalies for much of the UK. <coughs> So, sorry, everyone, Ireland is closer to average, but looking pretty cold, I have to say, there, across much of Western Europe through the uh, second week. And as far as precipitation is concerned, so it's uh, slightly wetter than average just to our east. That could be like wintry showers running down the uh, North Sea and uh, whatnot, with a drier weather where that ridge is out in the Atlantic. Crikey, well, let's have a look week three. <laughs> which will be the 25th of November, 2nd of December. Ah! <laughs> now, that's not quite as exciting. Low pressure to the west of Scotland will be very weakly, um, with high pressure sort of down across southern parts of Europe. It looks like we'd be, be uh, weak. It looks like we would be reverting, put your teeth in, Cal, to more of a westerly flow there. 500 millibar height to the looking like that. We've got above average heights down here. Here, we're probably below average heights up there, and winds again coming in from the west, a little bit like that. Temperature anomalies, just ever so slightly above average, so definitely a warm-up going on from uh, week two to week three. Yeah, and as our uh, precipitation is concerned, looks like we're reverting back to Atlantic flows. So after that cold snap, we're going milder and wetter for months. End. Right, week four will be the second to the ninth of December. Let's have a look. Oh. Mmm. They've got high pressure building to our, or building up from the south, and um, that will bring the wind up from a southwest direction. Get by the stage long if you want a cold start to December. 
500 millibar heights look like that. Uh, pretty brutal for anyone. Brutal for anyone who wants a cold start to the sand, but winds wafting up from a southwesterly direction. It's probably going to be low pressure through here, by the way. And so temperature should be milder. Yes, we see that. Check that out. Rainbow salmon pink colours now which is around 1 to 3 degrees above average. And what's the uh, precipitation doing? I reckon it'll be going wetter. So it does indeed go wetter to our north. Blimey. I don't know. Week 5 would be the night to the 16th. So here we go. Oh, gracious. We've got higher pressure still generally to our south, but also reaching into the Atlantic to some degree. But it looks like we're still bringing like a westerly flow and uh, probably as flat as a pancake there. 500 millibar heights looking like that. So, again, we've got high pressure building in. Come on, highlights. Come on. Got high light, we've got um, high pressure building in there across western parts of uh, Europe. The temperature only again warmer than average in those salmon pink colours. So looking pretty mild for December here. And as far as precipitation goes, very weak single by this point. Nothing useful can be gleaned. Okay, well, let's get to uh, Chris Eve Eve. Week 6 will be the 16th to 23rd of December. Here we go. Oh, and we still see a scenario that looks pretty mild. Pretty mild for the run up to Christmas with higher pressure German to the south. Lower pressure would be up here and winds would remain from a westerly direction. What about the 500 millibar heights? Again, they're pulling the ridge out into the Atlantic. Some lower pressure would be up here and uh, winds will be coming from like a westerly Possibly slightly northwesterly direction. Temperature only is above average, but maybe a shade lower as we start bringing a little bit more of a polar maritime type airstream. And the precipitation looks uh, pretty wet, actually. So uh, we approach Christmas on. Uh, an Atlantic driven, wet, mild, probably quite windy, etc., 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 type scenario. Now, next week's update is going to get us through into the Christmas week. So, uh, very exciting um, next week. But uh, for this week, it looks as though we have got some cold weather to come in the next couple of weeks, especially um, that week two period with that northerly blast. And then we're into an Atlantic driven flow, though, for months end, which looks like going to carry us probably through the first half of, half of December uh, anyway. We shall see just a snapshot of what the model is showing. So always keep that in mind. Any forecast on five, seven days comes with big health warnings and large pictures of salt attached. Could look completely different when looking at it again on Tuesday or Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, next week for the extended European Outlook or indeed next Saturday for the uh, UK and Ireland Focus video. We're going to be back later on with your weekend forecast and the 10th of day. Keep coming back and uh, checking out the content. Uh, for this one though, that's all now and thanks for watching. See you soon.